Frida Kahlo has a complex legacy as a feminist icon and a disabled woman who channeled her pain into art. The Mexican painter has become a popular commercial image over the years, but now a new project hopes to turn attention back to her art. Google has dedicated a portion of its arts and culture app to Kahlo's life and works. It even features a virtual tour of her famous blue home. I think one of the reasons for this platform is to connect her personality to the work. The most important thing is that we can find Frida Kahlo's works. What was it that she has contributed to the international art for the world to now turn to this painter? The Kahlo Museum has become one of the most visited in Mexico City. Recently, a toy company released a doll of the artist, but the sales were blocked after her family went to court. Frida Kahlo is not a product or a brand. She's an artist. In the case of the Barbie, I also say that Frida Kahlo is not a doll. It's not the appropriate way to project the image of an artist at her level. The importance of platforms like Google is that it is something serious that speaks of the painter. It's not a product for a girl to play with. 63 years after her death, Kahlo continues to inspire and fascinate people with her personality, art and uniqueness.